let's talk about how to add or change a time for a participant. So, what you're used to seeing is this screen here, participant and all their information. They're in the 5K. You're used to looking at the results screen. This is their T0 time. This is their gun time, T11. T11 is the gun. T12 is the chip. And uh, apparently, it, since it's the same, that means that means we don't have a uh, chip start time. T21 is the chip start time. Oh, yep, I was right. There's nothing there. And T22 is the finish. Now, if there are times here, see that little pencil? If there's times here, and for some reason you have a mistake, you can just go in and edit it. So say this person says, oh, my time was really 12 minutes. It didn't set it off until I came over here and talked to you. If you want to just go in and edit someone, you can make it 12. You can make the chip time 12. And it's in red, just so that if you ever go back there, you know that it's an edited time. Um, let's say there is a wheelchair division and only three people were in it, and they left five minutes early. You can change uh, the T0 time for a single person. That means that person's gun time would change. Uh, it didn't change here because it was an overridden final result. So you can go right in and change someone's time. If they show it to you on their watch, um, if they were missed. But what you can't do is you cannot add a time here if nothing is here. Um, let's create a new person. New participant. Cool. Rob, 48, I don't know, and 5K. You cannot add a time here if it's not already here. So where raw timing data comes in is over here at this tab. Click on this tab, and any times recorded will be in here for the person. If I came to you and said, hey, you missed me at the finish, select the timing point here. Let's say finished at 9.45.00 and add. So my T0 was 9 o'clock. I finished at 9.45. Um, so it spits a time in there. And I like it when it shows you this, and it wasn't there a second ago, it, it, you need to refresh the screen. So it shows you that this time is being used as a finish. Let's say, put in here a time of 9.03. Oh, oh, oh. Add. Okay, it doesn't tell you what it is, but until I come back to that screen, that was used as a start. Okay. So now I have a chip time that's appropriate, I have a gun time that's appropriate. Let's say the person, let's say this race started at 9.02 in 14 seconds, and the person tells you that their time should be 16.01. Let's say it's very complicated. I would suggest just throwing in any time, throw in 9.45, and then come here, and, oh, you said your time was 16, 15, 16, 15. In other words, you don't have to do the crazy math here. You don't have to do the math to get that time to spit out exactly right here. Just get it to put anything there and then go in and edit it.
to there. That's what I told you that my time was. I just put it in there, override it, and edit it. Now, one more thing about raw timing, that if if you forgot to set the start time, so here we're 9.03, 9.45. If I go back in here and set the start time, this was wrong. We really started at 9.40. Now, with this participant, that time was before T0, so it is still sitting here and could get pulled back in if we needed it, if we changed any of our formulas or changed our start time. But now this one is be oh, it is being used as a finish. Why is this being used as a finish if T0 is 940 and this is 945? Geez, I thought I had that thing set for 11 minutes. But for this contest, I have changed it now to five minutes. I changed it to five minutes because our race is a two loop course. And I have this idea that we might just leave that mat sit down there. And in the beginning, for the first five minutes, it's going to record starts. And then as we leave it there, Five minutes later, the first chip after T0 plus five minutes, it's going to record that split, and we're going to verify that everybody did two laps on the course. So I changed my normal 11 minutes to five, and this, this is an arbitrary five too. This five did not have to be the same. It could be whatever I want it to be. I could change it right here. Um, but having anything with a split mat, that's, that's another level of advanced. Just understand that I set that to five, and that is why this time right here is in as a finish. If I had a 944, that was used as a start. And if I change my start time, I will slide right, I can, these things are will just slide before it or after it, and the formulas will apply. If I change what's in the formulas, it will just apply to whatever times are sitting there. Oh, and one more thing, if you wanna get rid of a time, you can invalidate it, that way, or sometimes you can delete them. Um, I don't know, maybe I don't know, you might not be able to delete it if it comes in from a timing box. But I don't know, I just choose a lot of times to invalidate something I don't want. That way if I ever made a mistake, it's still there and I could come back and validate it. Okay, that was the basics on how to edit a person's time and how that affects or is affected by the raw timing mode and these numbers of minimum lap time and your start time. Your start time. Okay, any questions? Let me know.